Our Fox 5 I team continues its close examination of the Atlanta mayor's race. The I team studied mayoral hopeful Kwanzaa Hall's city council campaign filings and found a confusing mess with 24 amendments filed to correct mistakes on reports dating back to 2011. And all of those amendments were filed just last week. Senior I team reporter Dale Russell has the details. And Dale, those amendments were filed actually after you asked Councilman Hall for an interview. They were, Sine, and Councilman Hall insists that he was working on fixing the mistakes on his city council disclosures that go back some six years before we asked about them two weeks ago. Atlanta's not looking for a black mayor, a white mayor, a gay mayor, or a straight mayor. Atlanta's looking for a great mayor. When longtime Atlanta City Councilman Kwanzaa Hall announced he was running for mayor, it was no real surprise to many who knew him. After all, his father, Leon Hall, was a civil rights activist who worked for Mayor Maynard Jackson. Kwanzaa grew up in the shadow of City Hall. But when we began exploring his city council campaign disclosures, we got a big surprise. How can the voters trust you if you can't get this right? We started with January 2014. Hall, who had just been re-elected as city councilman, filed a campaign disclosure that shows $24,605 on hand. Then his next report is gone, with no explanation of how it was spent. The next campaign report is back again. Then June 2015, gone again. But it's a problem, you know, when it disappears and shows up again. Uh, just like it is a problem if it completely disappears. We shared our findings with good government watchdog William Perry. I think the way you report your campaign reports is reflective of how you serve in office. If you're not careful and disclose how you spend your own money, how are you going to be pe careful with the people's money? Do you know what happened to that money? Uh, no, it's there. I mean, we've accounted for, for sure. All, yeah, we've accounted for the um, transactions and all of the um, contributions that have come in and the expenditures. We'll get to that accounting he mentions in a moment. First, the other report that caught our eye, June 2016. His city council campaign disclosure showed he had $16,025 on hand. Hall filed an amendment in April of this year that showed a new number. $642,063. Is that sloppy? Well, I mean, things could have been a little tighter, I, I admit. Kwanzaa Hall says his outside staff made a mistake. Campaign rules are that you start all over after an election. But he says his staff totaled up all the contributions he'd gotten since back to 2006, which made it look like his campaign had a lot of money when it didn't. For years you've had these reports out there that citizens would be going through that weren't even close to accurate. Well they could have been a little tighter as I mentioned but if you look at, our, at our office budget we've well, been so you were hundreds of thousands of dollars apart. Well there's like I said we've identified a new team to review and to address everything and they're working on it. As a citizen off the street looking at something like this it would appear that all of a sudden this money just came out of the sky. Sarah Henderson, director of Good Government Group Common Cause, says voters should take very seriously how candidates fill out their campaign reports. The, the forms are pretty simple to file your disclosures. If you can't do that correctly, file on time, file the, the correct report, that says something about your fiscal integrity. When we saw that $642,000 in the campaign disclosures, we called Kwanzaa Hall and asked him to explain it to us. Some two weeks later, we met in Midtown. In the days leading up to that meeting, Kwanzaa Hall filed 24 amendments to his campaign disclosures, correcting mistakes going back to 2011. The amendments show completely different numbers for contributions and expenditures. Some amendments were even amended. Kwanzaa Hall insists he's got a new team and now he's got it right. Is he bothered that for years his disclosures on file were inaccurate? Doesn't bother me because I know the great work that I do. I know where my heart is. I know the type of character I have and I know how committed I am and how much I love this city. But it does bother good government groups like Common Cause. As a candidate running for mayor and as a city sitting city council member, you should have a, a lot better reporting than that and a lot uh, to make sure that everything is accurate on paper. Now Kwanzaa Hall has also filed two campaign disclosure reports as a mayoral candidate this year. He's already filed three amendments to correct what appear to be small mistakes in those reports. 
And as you heard him say, his new team is in place, and he thinks he's now got everything right. Russ, Sine. All right, Dale, thanks very much.